Hey, air signs, welcome in. Yeah, I just felt like going back to air, fire, earth, water. We're gonna do. We're gonna. We're going to um, try a whole bunch of new things as we're working our way through the fall of this year. Lots of experimentation. That's what's going on here. And uh, interested to know how you feel. Interested to know what is helpful to you. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hi. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that little bell so you get notification when I put videos out because things are gonna be a little bit more um, on uh, not purposeful because we've always been purposeful but I feel like there's gonna be more sort of like surprises so I'd hit that bell if I were you because um, sometimes sometimes things just come out <laughs> it's anything can happen Thursday of course it's Monday but you know the metaphor still works all right, so let's see what's going on for you. These are messages that want to come through for September 24th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Feel free to swap around the characters because this is a general reading. And as always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So just be mindful of that. If the, res if the, if the message resonates for you, that's great. If not, maybe tomorrow, okay? Because... Whenever someone's like, no, I'm totally confused. If you're totally confused by it, it's probably not the message for you. Okay? Nothing personal, just sometimes other storylines want to come out. All right. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're here, there's probably something here for you. So, let's see what's going on here to the sea. Hmm. Subconscious feelings, bringing things conscious. Soulmates. Of course, no place like home. So some of you could be um, in a new place. This feels like a coming home. This feels like a coming home to me. Like you guys might be coming back together. This could be a reunion. Coming uh, to the sea, coming uh, no place like home. Soulmates feel very comfortable to me. And interestingly enough, to the sea is a seven uh, card, which is uh, seven is very spiritual connection. So just floating along on your feelings, allowing the universe to sort of, you know, move you into the place you need to be. You see, oh, isn't that interesting? The moon and the sun and the higher power are looking down from the heavens on all of these cards. It's not true in every single card here. Your higher power is really looking down on you really um, guiding this connection. Okay, air sign, really guiding this connection. Somebody, oh, and I noticed this. This person has the key to your heart. I never saw that before. See how the person has the key and then your heart there? Your heart could have been locked up for a long time. This person has the key to it. Do you know that? Do you know who this is? You, you, you do know who this is. Okay, if you're not in relationship with them yet, you will be soon. You will be soon. No place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, here's home. Ten of Pentacles. Right there, right there. That is home. That is just this very, very warm, loving kind of space. Makes you feel good. And then, of course, there's the tower. Wow, Ace of Cups. Seriously, I knew there's a reason I needed to do this reading today. King of Swords, High Priestess. All right, the two soulmates coming back together. You guys might not be talking right now very much. Um... Interesting, interesting. So, look at this. Look what's happening. This is like coming from the heavens. It almost feels like this is the relationship. This is coming from the heavens and this is where we're going. Tower, Ace of Cups, judgment. Oh my God. I don't, I don't feel like this is necessarily love at first sight, but it is a new beginning. It, you know, you guys would be getting called back together. This could be, This could be a love at first sight situation for some of you. Some of you could be feeling that, okay? Um, there's you, there you are. Look at this. King of Swords, High Priestess. 
that's pretty cold okay so you might be um you guys might be very um it's not just the facts ma'am but it is it's seeing things more clearly all right because with the high priestess really connecting to the higher power right we used to talk about no talkie is the high priestess the king of swords knows what he wants very clear but there's not a lot of communication about it right now okay but this person because of that tower and this judgment six of cups these are the soulmate cards coming back together or two of the soulmate cards uh and these are the two coming back from the past soulmate cards okay when you see those this person is coming back for a new beginning okay um sag energy here very nurturing very comforting that's that's the no place like home card the queen of pentacles coming back together no place like home page of swords I, sharing ideas, sharing thoughts about what you want together. Okay, I'm definitely going to look in the extended. I'm definitely going to look at if this is another air sign. Okay, and then I see Pisces here. I see Sag. Okay, Pisces and Sag. The Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see. Okay, so... Um, world ten of cups oh my god ten of swords that is behind you really okay yeah okay so this is what needs it's so interesting to me because this has been the sort of the order of the day there's this beautiful like oh my god this person is coming back together with me that's so fabulous but here's the thing there's some shit that you guys need to talk through all right, and don't, don't not do it. There's some shit you need to talk through, okay? Somebody was holding back, somebody feels betrayed, there's other people in the mix, there's fear. There's fear here, okay? And you will get through it and you will heal, but I'm here to tell you that the reason that there's no talk, there's a reason there's no talkie right now, okay? Or was no talkie right now. I feel like you're gonna see each other uh, you could be seeing each other or you could be bumping into each other online or bumping into each other in person or some way the universe is bringing you guys back together. I said reunion. Virgo energy, eight of swords, two of cups. Um, one of you has been very uh, stoic, very closed, but they are sort of feeling the feelings here, air sign. Um, they're very much in their head, okay? Their heart wants to speak. The heart chakra wants to speak. The mind is shutting them off. That's why the king of swords is here, okay? No offense to you guys, but that's what's happening here. I see Aquarius. Definitely Aquarius. Aquarius, Pisces. So the loftiest high high visionary aquarian energy with the deep it's almost like the highest to the deepest right it's like there's this we have a real connection on us on a um you know your brain is so sexy right we have this real connection in terms of like they're super smart um we connect our jokes we get each other's jokes it's it's really um, amazing how we can talk for hours and hours and hours. There's that connection, but the deep spiritual connection, the deep feeling connection is the thing that likely is bubbling to the surface here. That's the thing that needs to be uh, walked through. <laughs> you guys need to walk through that together. Okay, you definitely do. And I feel like you both need a little more information from each other about what they want what what the other person wants all right so we're gonna we're gonna go through this minefield all right and you both maybe you I, I kind of feeling like you're both air signs here because I feel like you're really comfortable in that conversational and the spark of that like I used to say I was talking to a friend yesterday and we were talking about a, a, a common friend that we had who was really having a hard time with interviewing and I know this seems far-fetched but just stick with me for a second and they are very gifted at what they do but they're terrible at communicating it 
in a way like with a new person okay it takes a while to get to know that person and understand how they communicate and so this person in terms of interviews has a really hard time and I was talking about it yesterday I'm like geez you know what I don't know what I can offer this person or what I can add or if I can be of service because I know if I get an interview I get that job every single time I can ace an interview no problem it's just that's a skill set that you guys have too that you have you know I don't know the gift of gab or whatever it is but you have the capability of that's why talking is part of my job right because it's one of my talents is to be able to communicate but when I see something like this it's really the deep feelings that are the thing that need to be opened up to and neither one of you has a really good skill set around feelings it's like the inverse of that other person that you know that other person that I was talking about who isn't really good at interviews is incredibly confident about their own feelings they know exactly how they feel they're very um, introverted and they know their landscape their internal landscape you guys the two of you may not have a really good handle on it however the universe tower judgment high priestess temperance world really coming into play here Virgo energy of, of uh, the hermit and the Piscean energy there of the moon really helping here to discover your internal landscape about this really that's what the more information is all right so y'all you know the two air signs here y'all are like very good at um out here right but when it comes to in here that's what needs to be brought home that's why it's to the sea and no place like home it's got to be about the feelings it's got to be about the internal landscape Okay, and that can be a little scary for a lot of air signs. I'm just saying. I don't mean to generalize here, but since this is a general reading, that's kind of what we do here. So <laughs> I'm trying to say that the navigation of this is the internal landscape. That's where you need to go. Okay, so I am going to look at, I got a lot of signs here. I, I, I feel like this might be another air sign. So I will look at uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I will look at Sag and I will definitely look at Pisces. I will look at Virgo too. Okay, Virgo. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Sag, Virgo. That I will pull some cards around those signs in the extended. Okay. All right, my darlings. So if you uh, found this to be helpful, found this reading great, please leave a comment, please uh, share, like, subscribe, all of those. I'm, you know, so excited that you guys are here. I know there's a lot of people who watch these every day. So hi to everybody who watches every day. Thank you for that too. Okay. Uh, for those of you who want to continue on with me, I'm going to continue and see where we go. Link is below for that. I will see you over there.